Hey guys, Aloha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So today I wanted to show you guys how I got this look here. It's really simple, very easy to do, and you don't Excuse me, I'm a little stuffy today. Um, you don't require a whole lot. It's not airbrushed. I know you guys are used to seeing me airbrush these days, but it is not airbrushed. And it's also featuring a brand new product, which is the Doll Skin TCE Concealer. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about this concealer right now. I don't want to blabber on too much in the intro. I'll talk about it throughout the video. This is a voiceover video, and I'll try to like talk throughout the video, tell you guys a little bit about this concealer. It's really, really cool in the sense that TCE stands for this covers everything everything so just putting this to the test today and then I'll talk to you guys about it um, later on in the outro so yeah if you want to learn how to get this look please stay tuned but before we get started you guys know the drill please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video and without further ado let's jump right on into this tutorial So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this Joa Beauty Blur Activator Primer and apply this all over my face to blur out any pores and smooth out my skin. Then I'm going in with the Doll 10 Beauty Liquid H2 Glow Glow Serum. This is actually like a liquid highlighter really and I'm just applying this all over my face for a nice radiant glow underneath my foundation and I buff this in with the Doll 10 Beauty um, Fluffy Brush. I think this is the number 9 brush but... I'll link it down below just so you guys know the name. This is an awesome brush for blending out foundation and creams on your face. Then I go in with this Doll Skin Foundation. <laughs> I was stuck for a minute. This is actually a amazing product because I've used this in my videos before and some of you know already, but this has really good ingredients in it to help fix and heal your skin while it's also covering up any kind of blemishes and imperfections and this can also be used as like a BB cream. Then this is the hero of the show. This is the Doll 10 Beauty TCE Concealer. This does not launch until January, but you can get it on HSN in bundles right now. But in January will be the official launch. I'm using the shade Light Medium. It has a metal applicator tip that's really good for deep puffing and you require the smallest amount of this. So really I'm just squeezing out a tiny bit and just spreading it around. TCE stands for This Covers Everything. Guys, this is the best concealer in the world and this beauty sponge that I'm using is the most incredible sponge. This actually made me fall in love with beauty sponges all over again and I've only been using beauty sponges for the last couple of weeks because of this beauty sponge. Like, I can't explain it. You just have to feel it to know what I'm talking about. Then I'm going into that TCE concealer in the darker shade. This is the shade Tan Deep. So there's a shade that's darker than this as well. And I'm using this to contour my face because I just love the amount of coverage it gives. I love how easy it is to blend out. And when you use this concealer with the wet sponge, the science behind it is that the wet sponge actually brightens and instantly enhances your features. Like, literally. That's why I like using a sponge with it. It's absolutely amazing, guys. Please try it out. Then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just the light one. And I'm just setting all the areas that I highlighted and concealed with this powder. And then I dust whatever's left all onto the rest of my face with another Doll 10 brush. And this is a powder brush. So I'll link that down below as well because I don't know the name. And I'm using the bottom of the sponge to bake underneath my contour line to really make that contour a little more defined and sharper because... I like me a sharp contour but if you don't like the sharp contour look then you don't need to do this step and I also bake the edge of my nose just to make my nose appear more narrow once you're all done just go ahead and dust off all that powder that baked and brightened everything up a little Next, I'm using the Doll 10 Beauty Complexion Palette, and I'm using this brown shade here to contour my nose with a flat Morphe brush. I'm also going to use this to apply a little bit more contour to my cheeks and temples, just to enhance that contour a little bit more. And I'm going in with this light shimmery and this pink shimmery shade, and I'm applying this as my highlighter. 
I'm taking it into the temples, the, a little bit on the sides of my forehead, and of course my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I also like to apply this to the bridge of my nose with a small brush. Next I'm going into this coral blush and this pink blush and I'm applying this combo to my cheeks to give myself a nice flush of color. The mascara I'll be going in with is the Doll 10 Beauty Illegal Eyes Mascara. I love how this elongates, lengthens, and thickens my lashes and it also curls them very nicely. I was actually really impressed with this mascara. Next I'm going in with this retractable lip liner by Doll 10 Beauty and I'm just applying this to my lips. I love how creamy and pigmented this lip liner is. It's absolutely amazing. Next I'm going in with this Doll 10 Beauty lipstick and lip gloss combo. One side is a lipstick, the other side is a lip gloss. And I absolutely love how cute and perfect for your purse this is. That's it. Thank you for watching. That was my cute kid. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was very quick, easy, and straight to the point. Um, this look does last a very long time. I wore it yesterday, and I was really, really impressed with it. And I am so extremely impressed with this TCE Concealer by Doll 10. Um, a little story behind this is the chemist who developed this one also developed a very, very famous concealer that we all love and use all the time. I love and use all the time. I'm not going to mention any names, but the same chemist worked on that formula, but this formula doesn't settle into the creases. And I know I set my concealer because that's just out of habit and like extra insurance for me, but this concealer really does not require a whole lot of setting. So it's absolutely amazing in that sense. And I actually threw this into my kit because I have a lot of mature clients as well who have the fine lines. Yeah, when you're younger, you don't really have them, so you can use all these other cakey concealers, and that's totally fine. But when you get older and you have the fine lines under your eyes, you really can't um, use a lot of thick concealers. So this gives you the same pigmentation. And also, you'll notice that lately I've been doing, in all my other videos, I've been applying my concealer with a brush. But in this video, you guys saw that I applied it with a sponge. First of all, let's talk about this sponge. This sponge is absolutely amazing. It is so freaking soft, and it just... It blows up really big. I wish I had a dry one, but unfortunately I don't, so I can kind of show you the comparison. It is so soft. Like, it's softer than any other beauty sponge I've ever used, and it blends everything so effortlessly. Um, this concealer has pigments in it from what I was told at the launch event. It has pigments in it that are activated with a wet sponge to immediately brighten. So the wet sponge actually brightens the concealer, and it's literally like a breath of fresh air for your face. And that's why I use the beauty sponge, to put that theory to test, and I must say that it was true. I instantly saw a brightening effect as soon as I hit it with the sponge, and I'm sure you guys saw it on video. Well, I hope it showed up on the video. Um, and yeah, so check out this sponge, and definitely this concealer is amazing. Um, it doesn't launch until January, so just keep that in mind. It does not launch un until January, but on the HSN Home Shopping Network, I know they offer the concealer in little kits that you can purchase on that um, on HSN. So I'm not really sure how that works. I don't think I've ever bought anything from HSN to be completely transparent with you guys. Maybe I have once years ago I don't know but I, I don't think I have um, but check it out if you do if you're interested in this concealer otherwise you can wait until January to purchase it individually so you don't have to buy the whole kit so yeah that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in today thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of that is at Makeup by Alaha. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for staying until the very end. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!